Yeah, yeah, with oatmeal. Yes, that's exactly the same, actually. Okay. I'm actually a, a big fan. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? No, well, man. I, when I heard your song, I was like immediately like, I would listen to this music. You know what I mean? So nice, I like. Thank I, you. I, I preach that's so cool coming from you. I think. Um, hey, thank you. Bro. Yeah, waves was that's the first song I ever like released, and the first song that I knew was like, you know, you know that song. I don't know if that was the one for you or what your first one was, where you go, this isn't just a song about like something you just you know write a song and then yeah, it feels yeah. like it means something and really? that was the first song for me it was the first one you believed then or yeah the, i was on the train home i wrote it in hitchin uh in hitchin which is north of london and uh right. i called my i miss it i think i was calling or my emailing my manager on the train listening to it because i don't know if you do this i put my phone up and push record on the voice like, yeah, voice yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. you know sometimes if you get a rough bounce of a song it sounds it sounds kind of awful because the <laughs> like the tuning's all <laughs> weird your voice is off <laughs> But I like with this bit of air between the speakers and the Hi. voice member. Uh -huh. So I push record and then I was listening to that. I tried to listen to that from day one. Right, okay. Because you know, before producers put their magic on it. Hi. And then I was messaging my brother and my manager going, I think I have something special. That was the one for me. But the line, it comes and goes and waves for me was, I feel like that's a universal line people say. You know what I mean? Like, it is, but when you put it into song and people just relate at a different level, don't they? Sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, it meant a lot to me. Like that, your song, like it comes and goes in waves. When you put it like that, it's, it's, it, the message is stronger. Do yeah. you know what I mean? No, well, that, that, the thing is, you're right. The people that interpret it in so many different ways. So people are like, is yeah. it about depression? Is it about uh, relationships? Exactly. Like, you know, the feeling. But for me, it was about the getting year on year getting older. And maybe you yeah. could relate to that if you were saying yeah. you're floating. I had that same feeling of like, I'm floating through life and year on year, I'm getting the same thing keeps happening in the sense of expectation and then you start to know what to expect because life exactly. is, you know, you're turning up to the bar and I was turning up to this yeah, shitty yeah, job yeah. that I had and I was like, and then um, that song changed it all for me. So uh, what was the song that got you a record deal? Um, it was the whole EP in theory. Uh, we sent the whole EP over, super rough demos, but the yeah. thing was, you know, during COVID, actually, it's when I got my motivation. So, like, I got my manager, my producer I just met, I had my band, I got a booker, yeah. and we approached the label with everything. That's and smart. With, with a three EP release plan, each EP different style, onto an album. Wow. You know? Yeah, yeah, very smart. So, you had this all planned out? I had it all planned out. Did you have I, the songs ready, or you had like an idea? I had the songs ready, but the only ones recorded were the first EP, actually, right. the first five. Okay. But, um, but I mean, I didn't expect it to go as well, yeah, <laughs> to yeah. be honest. Yeah, they just, they yeah. just, yeah, I was, I was really lucky, you know, we were talking to also Sony and some other labels, but yeah. Universal was the one that I wanted. It's fantastic. Actually. Did they all want to sign you? Uh, yeah, well, Switzerland's small. Yeah, yeah. They, really uh, small. Uh, let's just say some of the labels found out I was talking to Universal a bit more and they got the hump. And about, then they, they, yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> fine as long as they all don't get the... Like, well, I mean, I got the label I wanted. So yeah, that's great. So that's great. But it's cool, man, that you're with it. When did you sign with Universal? Oh, I signed, I think five, I think it was six years ago I signed. And right. I've only, um, yeah, it was six years ago. And then I had, I had a similar Thank situation. You Thanks. Much. Cheers. Thank you I had a similar situation where uh, I got, uh, I had no one wanting to sign me. So everyone I met with every record label, okay. and they were all like, uh, not interested. So uh, Universal was actually the last the last one. Really? Not, not because I didn't want to sign with them. I just was like, you know what I mean? You're just like, I have no idea what you're doing. It seems so big in comparison though. Like it, it doesn't does. seem, I don't know. It seems out of reach somehow. It does, it uh, does. It's, it's funny that life for me, and maybe you're like, it's always about levels. It's like, you yeah. think, I want to get a record deal. Then you get it and then you go, oh, the next, oh, oh my God. Now you then the <laughs> uphill battle of like, what's next? Yeah, then the work starts actually. It does. I mean, hey, dude, cheers. Oh, cheers. Good coffee. Mate. Yeah, there great to great to meet you, well, man. Hopefully a pint next time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, but mm. it's um, good coffee. That was good. There you go. But I was funny, man. When I went in there, there was, I was playing Be Right at these showcases and I was playing half right. a man, I was listening to half a man, and no one wanted to sign me. They were just like, Crazy. they'd go in there and they'd be showing you, uh, they'd be talking about other artists and showing you like, you know, I remember they just released this huge Australian artist song yeah. and they're like showing me, oh, this is the campaign. It's like, but, but it's like, when you're at that stage, you're like, but I'm, I'm here, don't yeah, you guys? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they just, they're not interested. So. It's weird, isn't it? It like, is weird. What, what was, did you, did you have like one song 
That, was it Waves? Did your first kind of breakthrough, the one that yeah. got the most attention? Was it Waves? It, waves was the first one I put out, but it did nothing for three months. Like, no one cared. Right. Because it wasn't quite indie and it wasn't quite pop. It was kind of in between. So mm. they didn't really know how to place it. And then it got placed on this show called Riverdale on Netflix. And then... I know Riverdale. Riverdale. Yeah, yeah, it, was sure, a, yeah sure. it was a huge... And it blew it up. And then it, within a week, it was a million views. And then, like, on YouTube. And then... And then so and my mum probably had it before me then. Your mum was probably... Yeah, she <laughs> discovered it. Nice it Have you got a lot of syncs? Say again, sorry. Sinks, have you got any like a lot of sinks yet? Like on a lot TV of sinks? shows? Not or yet. Is that, no, no. Do you have a publishing deal Please yet? Please go on to that. Actually. You should, yeah, yeah. Do you have a publishing uh, deal or you No, still, should I? Oh, that's no, I mean that's great if you don't. I don't have a publishing deal, no. I mean you don't really need one. How do you write and, songs? So in Switzerland, um, we have a thing called Suiza. And it's quite organized in comparison to other countries. So they're right. very good at collecting your money. Um, right. when I go outside of Switzerland, I don't know, to be honest. Well, but, the publishing side is more I mean, it's a different world, isn't it? If, you, if you're not, I mean, do you write your own stuff? Do you have you and your producer write of it or do you write like how's uh, it? Until right? now, I've written pretty much everything, but I just started wow. having songwriting sessions yes. uh, because it just sparks more interest. It's more, yes. it's more driven, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I just try to always go in with a, a target, you know, like a goal yeah. Yeah. and a feeling or an emotion or a story or, a, yeah. you know, or a style even. Uh, yeah, um, but so you bring in an idea and then you'll know where you, an angle that you exactly, want to have. Exactly. I think it's cool. So you were saying you wrote it all by yourself and then now you're starting to introduce some other like ideas and people. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, obviously my producer, uh, uh, Tom, his name is, he, he's been massive, obviously. He helps me yeah. rearrange everything, like, you know, take out the, 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 the breaks for, yes. that are there for no reason, you yeah, know, yeah. shit like that. <laughs> but, um, and does he guide your writing sometimes? Because sometimes it's nice to have someone to be like, that section like you can have a stronger line there, or you can have a stronger line. Not, not too much. I mean, honestly, I'm a bit of a lyrical Nazi <laughs> when it comes to, when it comes to that because yeah. English is obviously my mother tongue. Yeah, by the English, being Scottish. But uh, you know, he, him, it's more about the composition, you know, and maybe some melodies and stuff right, like that's that. That's helpful. Yeah, um, yeah, it's massive. Uh, that's but, but occasionally, you know, uh, it's good to get someone in to, to just like highlight a concept, for example. You know, mm, mm, mm. Um, I've got a few demos now, uh, which. Yeah, which I'm really proud of, man. And it wouldn't have got written with the, the, the songwriting session. You yeah, know? yeah, no, I know what you're saying. And it's good to do, like, to have your own, to have the ability to do it. Because I think, yeah. you know, you see these, like, a lot of artists, they get signed at 18, and they're just, like, thrown into, like, songwriting sessions, and they come mm. out. Like, have you said no a lot? Because one yes. thing that's big for me is saying no. I've said no, no a lot. Yes, yes. I've, said, I've actually said no a couple of times this week already. It's good, um, it's great. Yeah, because you know, it, like it sounds very really selfish, but it's just the truth. There's a lot of people who want to songwrite who just I don't see the benefit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, that, that, but music is a kind of selfish thing. Yeah. I mean, you know yourself. How long does it take to get somewhere? You know? Oh my god, man! And it's never ending. It feels like if you stop for a moment, you disappear. Crazy. Especially now with TikTok. Crazy. It's like Social media. It's relentless. I still need to get on TikTok better. I'm, I'm so bad at TikTok. It's dude. It, well, it's one, something that that I got a call from one of my labels and they said literally the only thing that matters now is TikTok. So yeah. that was a big wake up call for me because they were like, I was like, yeah, but you know, on Instagram, I like, I mean, and they're like, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what I like, said. It's all about TikTok, man. That's what I said. And they're like, no. <laughs> then they got the, the PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. You, you got that as well. This is the thing, but you know, it's all, it's all so confusing, man. I, it's, it's uh, you know, the thing that I found is that my, I have this really good mate. He's one of my best mate in Australia. And he said this great quote once. He was like, great art will find a way. And yeah. I think, one thing I found in my life is songs that I've thought, like I have a song called Half a Man, and I was like, this song was the, it. it was the one. Song. Yeah. Dude, right? It's like mm -hmm. this chorus, it's like one in a, I, you know, I write so many songs, you know, it's like we write songs that yeah, suck, yeah. and then you get the odd one that's like, oh my God. And you know, people at my label were like, it's too slow, it's not a single, and you watch it sort of just become an album track and disappear, and mm. then it mm. found its way back through Denmark and blew up there uh, six I months ago. I saw that on your socials. How so crazy random. is that? It's, this guy called Tobias covered it on X Factor and it literally went up the charts to like... That's insane. Number, it went, dude, I think it went number... It was like the number one most streamed song in the country. But it's one thing I've found is when you do... When you consistently put out great songs, like even if you don't get the support from everyone all the time because, you know, it's so, they're so choosy who they mm. support, the gatekeepers and stuff. But if you just keep relentlessly being great, I think there's eventually just things keep momentum keeps keeps going. Yeah, Even if someone yeah, doesn't yeah. have a moment, I've found that it will find a way. It doesn't have to be a huge hit. It can be a small hit in certain countries. Yeah, but yeah. That's been a good thing to, to I mean, learn. I mean, in the end, like you say, I mean, yours in Denmark that was massive. You played like two nights in a row in a massive. We're venue. doing that. Yeah, coming in. Uh, I think it's in oh, two weeks. I that's think amazing. we're doing that. So it's 
it finds a way if you just keep doing great stuff. Like yeah. those things find their way despite all the roadblocks and people exactly. who don't, you know, gatekeepers who decide who's the the, the cool, you yeah. know, or who the next thing is they're going to support. Like, did yeah. you did you have a moment then when you were saying? So you've been saying five six years. Yeah, yeah. Did you have like a moment where you realised right? It's working. It's going to work, and I can do this for as long as I want to. Did yeah. You have, do you know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. It was because it was when Be Right blew up. Because up until that point, yeah. right, it was like, even when Waves, I remember being like, wait, how can I support my, because it takes a long time yeah. for cash to start rolling in. And not only that, but also just, well, no, it's important. I think it's important for that, for us. You know what I mean? But it was, I was, I was you spend so much money. I was like, I was like, oh my God, the tours cost, you, you look at all the numbers and you kind of yeah. go, how am I going to be able to sustain this? And then you have a song yeah. that's so big and then it, yeah. it, it, you go, oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm okay now. I don't have to move back in with my with my grandma. Like, right. I did that for <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Okay, moment. sweet. But that, really, that was the moment because I was like, how is this sustainable until I had this giant? And that was a huge song. Like it was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But up until that point, I was like, but it was weird. I think every door, every time, I don't know if you found this. Like, there was a door that opened. There was a door that opened, and there was always something I was aiming at. Are you the yeah. same? Like you sound like you are. If you had a I'm plan. very goal driven. Yeah, 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 yeah I, like, yes. I write everything down. I like to visualize everything. And um, to be honest, I thought it was a bunch of happy shit. I never thought it worked until yeah. this year because you know, I was still working in a bar until last month. Yeah. And uh, now I've got so many shows. I've got like a show every day or second day this month. That's wow. why I can't come at your show. Actually. Wow, wow. Because you're doing your own shows. Doing where? My own shows. I just. All different locations, like not just solo, but duo, trio, full bands, random places where it's like yeah. a private corporate show, which yeah. in Switzerland thankfully pays a That's lot great. of money. That's great. That's fantastic. Or yeah. like the public shows, which don't pay as much right now, but you meet new fans. Yes, you know, yes, yes. It's, it's a nice mix, and my book is fantastic for Switzerland so far. That's, that's great. And so you're, yeah. so you're like you're grinding the lives, and you're like just like I'm doing grinding, it. Grinding, grinding, yeah, yeah. And you're writing the songs, and you got yeah. the goals, and you're writing down the goals. I, that's I reckon yeah. that's so important, man. Like yeah, I did the goal. You can't too. stop, man. You can't. You, can't. Stop. you know yourself. You need that momentum, otherwise no. oh. you just feel like you disappear. Absolutely. And I think um, I'm the same as you. As an I, I. Actually, I stopped doing it. I don't know why. I, I, I write in general. I don't. I write in journals every morning. I haven't stopped doing that. But yep. I used to write, maybe three up until three years ago. But after be right, probably should start again. But I'd write. I want to sign a record deal. I want to sign a record. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to sign yeah. the manifesting stuff. You know. I do it first thing in the morning with a coffee. So you get out and you write down your goals every I morning. I get. I get my notebook and it's like an A4 notebook. Yep. Um, and what I do is I write it in third person. It was very egotistical. That's Cause, great. Because you, you know when you write something in third person and in past tense as well, you kind of remove yourself. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and it becomes more reachable. Like I'll say, I won't say I want X. I'll say Argyle has X, and I'll write that down. And then you find if you do that every day for a week, this, all the kind of bullshit filters out, and then you end up with the same things. Yes. And it just kind of clarifies what you want, you know? Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's kind of like a form of, it's kind of like my form of visualization. It's That's just, really cool. So you do it. So you 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 write down as if it has happened. Exactly. And you do it a certain amount of times. Yeah. How many yeah. times? 10, um, 15. I just I fill out a page at least. Wow, everyone. Uh, everyone. Even if I've got struggling, I'll just be like, our girl gets a fucking dog. Bro, I, that's, that's so cool. <laughs> you know I, I, mean? I used to do like to, I was very similar when I would, but I wouldn't do that. It happened. I was just like, I will get. You know, yeah. um, I will cool. sign a record. You, I, you did that as well then. I, I used to write down, <laughs> be alright, we'll go platinum. Be alright, we'll go platinum. Be alright, we'll go platinum. But the thing is that I think, and maybe what, what you just said is really, I think we're really similar because you said. It clears everything out. And I always thought of it, I don't think of, I'm not very spiritual apart from songwriting, but I always thought if you write down your goals, it's not making some magical juju in the universe. It yeah. more so feels like you're aligning con your context of your life. You're going, yeah. I'm, okay, this is where I want to go. And you create this life narrative of you go, I know where I'm going now. And then you go, well, what am I doing today? Well, I'm probably going to do something towards, exactly. towards it. So I'm going to write a song. And you'll notice things, you know, opportunities or something someone for will sure, say that will sure. catch you, you know? Like 100%. It, context. Context, right? You know, it, it's like the power of the universe. But realistically, it's just yourself. It is. Yeah, it's all, you it's know? all yes. You are us aligning a goal. And it's like that, what's that famous quote? Like, a ship, I'm going to butcher a water. Someone told me the other day. But it's like, you know, if you're in the sea, wind in any direction to a directionless ship is... Uh, it's useless, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you don't know where you're going. Exactly. You know, and, I, and, and were you like this always, or is this something that you've just adopted recently? It's something that I, I, I've grew into, to be honest, you know? I was, I was really lost as a teenager, I, I don't know. Like, I had no, I got into a lot of trouble, I, yeah. was, I wasn't really a good kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I started travelling, and I kind of found a place here in Switzerland randomly. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and it was during lockdown, and I, every day I'd wake up, and even though I was broke, I was so happy I didn't have to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was just like, well, 
better than seven dickhead customers. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah so, for sure, for sure. So then I was like, well, that's wrong, obviously. I yeah. shouldn't be unhappy every day yes. to do something. So I realized that I need to go, you know, I'm yes. not getting younger. Like, it's, yeah. it's the time to go. There is that pressure of that. Um, yeah, I, especially in creative arts, you know, like music and, yeah. and, and like and to, to act, to be a model, and these things where your face is kind of your part of it your is, product. You yes. worry about those things, you know? Mm. For sure. I mean, I wrote waves about feeling like I was getting older and feeling like, you know, like the life is getting more numb or like more predictable each year. And then yeah. weirdly, that was the thing that changed my life. I don't worry. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I don't think about it too much, although I probably should. I think, you know, I used to look at like Jamie Lawson. Remember him? Jamie yeah, Lawson. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, he wrote that song, Never Expecting. Didn't expect that. What's it called? Ne I was never expecting that. I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting that. that. So that, that song, he was 39 when that yeah. was a hit. And I remember going, okay. Was he? Yeah, and I got, I got signed at 26 or 27. So I remember being like. Same as me, 27. So yeah. yeah, so I was like, okay. So I was like, oh shit. Okay, I'm probably starting a bit later than most people, but like still plenty of time. Like God, like it's crazy. Like, yeah. and also, one song opens up so many uh, possibilities. And the weird thing I've noticed is like, all songs aren't equal. Like, you, one song that's a hit is so exponentially more powerful than, and changes your life than, it's like, uh, than, oh, like, oh, for instance, I was listening to a great audiobook the other day. Uh, it's called Deep Work. I'm listening really, to a great book if you want to see it. Someone was telling me about that last It's week, really cool. Actually. But they, yeah. it talked about how like, it actually gave the example. They said 10 average singers doesn't add one great, uh, doesn't, yeah. you can't like just put 10 average performers in a row and that's not going to equal one great performance exactly. by one person. And exactly. I think that's kind of interesting. I love, I love that. But this is a really good book, by the way, because it talks about yeah. taking time to like, time to yourself you're not distracted like how do you write songs like what's your process always different always different now as i get a bit older and i'm so busy now and I, you know i'm playing literally like a show every day a second day right now so yeah. how do you have the energy to, to do it musically to to, to 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 get the urge to write that's why i started doing songwriting sessions because you kind of put in a room and forced to be creative you know mm, have you ever read mm, that book mm. um the war of art by yes, Stephen great book, great book yes. so it's kind of that concept yes. you know is, um, I don't know if it was a quote from the book or if I'm probably paraphrasing here, but in my mind, you need to put yourself in a position to succeed or mm. in a position to get lucky, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like to, to, to come up with these ideas for lyrics and whatever, they're somewhere floating around that you just need to kind of catch mm. them. And if you're in that work mode and you say, right, I'm going to do, I'm going to songwrite for eight hours today, you'll get something. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? And it might stick in your head for six, seven years. I've got songs that I'm releasing this year that have been in my head for 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's cool. Like, it's do, kind of do, like you have, a, do you have that as well? Or? Yeah, it's, it's like the idea of, um, it's almost like what you're saying is like a, a buying a house and having a mortgage is almost forced savings. Like doing a songwriting session is forced. You're going to come out with something. something. It's going to happen. Um, exactly. Yeah, I, I think, you know, yeah, like for instance, uh, I'm trying to think like the songs that have come the quickest have been some of the best ones. Like Be Right was a very yeah. quick song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but now, uh, one thing that I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to really zone in on what is, because, uh, okay, I think there's so many mistakes you can make as a songwriter, as mm -hmm. an artist, anyway, in general. And one of the things I, th I think I did was I started to try a few too many different styles. Like, I put a song mm. out, songs that I've, I'm proud of everything. <laughs> I've but you can put out a song that sometimes is like, it's not, it's not the thing that people uh, know you for. It doesn't connect as well. And I'm one of those people, I, I, I actually look back at what I've done and look back and okay. I, I look back at Be Right Waves, Half Man. I said, what, why are these songs connecting and why are these other ones yeah. sort of like didn't yeah, connect yeah. on that scale? And there could be so many variable reasons. There could be so many uh, variables. Like for instance, one just might not have been pushed. Mm. Some songs don't get pushed by industry and, mm -hmm. you know, but I can tell, you know, when you play a show, you know when certain songs are connecting. And I, I, I looked back and actually at this point in my life, I'm looking back and going, okay, what is, where's is my place and zoning in on that and going, yeah. what is my niche? Like, for instance, I'll tell you my process, I look back at Be All Right and went, the, the kind of rappy verses, uh, it's yeah. not quite rap, it's smoking word, like no one's doing that. So that's a, that's a thing. And, exactly. um, and so trying to zone in on that and then, then trying to, because I think sometimes people will go, I was successful at that and I'm going to now move on to something brand new yeah. all the time and they lose everyone and they, and you lose yourself a little bit. But when you zone in on something that you do, I think you can actually make yourself stand out more by mm -hmm. finding that little thing. And uh, a lot of people don't like to do that, but I'm, I was big on that recently. Really it's, in, big. it's interesting you say that, because that's kind of the thing I'm going through at the minute, you know, because 
I think I saw on your Instagram the other day you said, I'm officially the king of sad songs, which yes. is funny because yes. I've had a few articles written about me because all the stuff released on now has been nostalgic, yes. intimate ballad stuff. Yes. But really when I play live, I love to play a bit of folk and soul and sure. by the end, like some blues rock, you know, yeah. like that's my idea of a live show experience is to kind of tackle all angles. Yes. But, what, but it's interesting you say that, I don't know, because originally I had the idea of doing like three EPs, still singer-songwriter, but one, the first one, which you've heard, uh, Waves, yeah. you know, this intimate folk ballad stuff, and then second one, a bit more earthy, warm, soulful, and the third one, kind of blues rock, but yeah. like you say, it seems like now it's, it's coming to a point where, I don't know, people expect yeah. the, 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 the heartbreak, the thing, the you thing. know? Yeah. thing you know? yeah they do they do but the thing is what you're talking about is being a real artist like you're a real artist so it's really cool that you're actually saying that you're mm. you're like you want you have a vision and you like want to progress it's like i think i think i've just i mean so you just got to i think the stage where i'm at right now i'm, I'm doing my second album it was just kind of going it's i only, think it's only a second album. i know because covid slowed things down yeah, yeah it's only exactly. the second one yeah, but yeah, you know what it was it was like um i think the world and looking at TikTok, because I look at this stuff and just from lessons that I've learned is, it feels like people want a niche. Like if you're talking about pure artistry, yeah, I think doing what you're doing is actually really cool and you should yeah. totally do that. But from a commercial perspective and applying yeah. some of that in, it's like, or even to define yourself as an artist, I feel like more than ever, I've noticed now, um, people, they saw, because now there's TikTok and there's so many new artists. Yeah. Like there's every, dude, every day there's like, I don't know how many Another songs Another viral song. Exactly, yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. So if you can, and this might be the wrong way, but it's just how I'm viewing it, is yeah. by going, finding a thing, and at least st sticking on it for a little bit to define mm -hmm. a moment. And when you have that moment, then you can start to pull a little bit, but you have to capture something yeah. fully. Yeah, and yeah. I think if I was in your position doing the three Ps and changing it, it's like, it's a lot of change for early. Yeah, that's that's what you I'm know? kind of like realizing as well. Sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 no. That's great. No, that's what I'm kind of realizing. I'm thinking. I'm like, I don't know. We're gonna see how the next yeah. singles progress because obviously we need content in between. Because like you yes. say, you need to keep. Working you gotta keep going. Otherwise, keep going. so I had the idea for like some special release singles, and they're probably my strongest songs commercially. That's right? great. That's great. Um, which is great, but now it's like pushing towards. I'm like, right. Well, do I just release an album like in this style yeah, then? Yeah. And then try something else, you know? Like, right, right. Maybe that might be a better way to tackle it. Well, the, yeah, the problem that we have as singer songwriters is like, it's so easy to just be like the guy with the guitar going, like, I love you, darling. <laughs> you know, I miss you. See you when they hate you know, your mom. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And the production's very dissimilar, right? So everyone's the production's a good guitar, exactly. a good bass, atmosphere. Yeah. But like, the hardest thing is like defining what is your, what is your niche. thing? Niche. The what niche. What is your what is thing that, that we can offer? That is like why we here because mm. I feel like it's so it's so hard for us to define ourselves and certain artists have done it really well like you look like Louis Capaldi he's really done a really good job of defining a sound he's like the yeah, piano yeah. god yeah, exactly. and then Adele she's defined she's oh she that. she just took that shit and ran with she it she ran like, with there's, it there's no there's no there's no there's competition, no competition with there's Adele. no competition yeah, and yeah. it's um piano ballad queen for piano ballad queen and yeah. it's like I'm I keep trying to define that thing and try to zone in on what that thing is and. And maybe, and, and so anyway, I, but I think it's really cool what you're saying. And yeah. what I'm saying is not necessarily right. I think it's cool, but I think sticking with the thing me. and really defining it is, it's just been beneficial for me. I think yeah, it, yeah, sure. And the times it's been less successful is when I veered a little bit too far away from that. Okay. But I've come back, I've sort of realized. Okay. But I think it's one of those things, if you're a stubborn, you seem like a guy who like, <laughs> you have your own goals and you might be stubborn in what you believe. Believe. You know uh, what I mean? I'm, I'm less stubborn. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a career and I love, all of the songs that I'm writing, pretty yeah. much, you know. Um, but, but I, no, I'm not too stuck. I'm flexible. You don't strike me as someone who just listens and just does what someone says. You just as no. someone who, who you no, like. No, you no, have no, your no. own sense. So yeah. if you're like me, you probably I think we are quite similar. Is yeah. you, you can hear this stuff, but you're still going to do what you do anyway because you're an artist. Yeah, you know, more or less, more or less. But at the exactly. end of the day, you also, I mean, I want to make a career. You know, I want to yeah. be doing well. What you're doing, basically, yeah. man. I mean, it's going great. And congratulations, by the way. It's, oh, it's fucking, it is. It's inspiring. No, it's thanks. It's really a cool. Similar dude. kind of story. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? I'd really appreciate seeing that, you know, I'm a fan of every success. So, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, well, no, that's what's great here, but it, it really is one song. One song opens the door, and then, you know, it's just, 
Yeah. So many things have to line up, and I think if we sometimes think about all the things that have to line up, it's way too stressful. But I think you've got the right. <laughs> what you're doing right now, you're playing shows, you're writing heaps of songs, yeah. you're defining your sound, and you have a plan forward. Most people don't have any of that, man. Like you know, yeah. what I mean? most people can't play live. You know what I mean? They're, yeah, you yeah. Know, so and the less shows and waiting for the right moment. Exactly. And then but the TikTok me, thing, you're yeah. gonna be smashing the tickets. You're gonna be all over it. It sucks, but it's like. I know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have it's to. Thing, We're yeah. making a content plan currently. The content yeah. plan. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know about that as well. You're universal. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it never ends. <laughs> She's in charge of reminding me. Shit, every the Monday, content actually. guru. <laughs> the content guru. I, there. I love you. Uh, <laughs> but so, hold on. Let me ask you this then. Do you ever think that you change your style? Like, say you want to release a soul album. You know, like yeah. Tesky Brothers, for example. Yeah, Tesky. Or, uh, or a Lady Ray. I don't know if you're familiar with her. No, no. no. You need to check her out. She's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, checking really. out Lady Ray. Lady Ray. Man, piece of me. Okay. Uh, I'll write that down for you if yeah, you write yeah. me down that book as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peace of Me, the chorus is, is fantastic. Lyrically. Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, I, I, you have to. It's amazing. Lyrically, style-wise, soulful. Yeah. But do you ever see yourself, back to the point, do you see yourself yeah. releasing a, a concept album or something in the future? What do you... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so after saying all this, is I've actually started to write some songs recently that are really, like, uh, I'm, I'm trying, like, you know, a little bit more, like, I know where I'm like I know where I'm aiming at the moment when I'm writing songs. It's yeah. very like I know what I'm aiming for and I know I have a rough idea of what's going to do. You start to develop an idea of what will work. Like this exactly. my fans will love this and I love chasing that. And yeah. I want to like yeah. I chase I want to have big songs. It's why I I, I awesome. love the art of it but that's the part, and 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 it's it, half the tease, isn't it? Are you the same as that? Like are you um are I'm you I'm becoming like that. I, 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 yeah, I think I it's okay to say, to say yeah. as well that you want yeah, yeah. songs. Well, of course, of course, I want to have songs. Any yeah. artist that says they don't, they're lying. Is either lying yeah. or they're just they, 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 they're sure. trying to be too cool. You know? and either way, it makes you not cool. Yeah, it's totally. It's like <laughs> when, oh, when they have a hit and they be like, oh, whatever, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck off. But then they do, next year they're, they're, they're searching again. Yeah, you're not, yeah, you're not. yeah, yeah. If you're not if you're not part of a band or something, it's not cool to do that. Exactly. In my in my eyes, like don't lie. Yeah, come on. Like for example, oh, that's another question actually. Have you ever like? Participated in a song or written a song and it's been released and then you later were kind of like nah Yeah, um, you didn't want to perform it live kind of thing. I mean the, yeah I would say there's a song I have uh, that I, I love this song, but it's just it, it, it maybe because it represents such a hard time in my life Okay, um, I have a song called falling up. I put out and yeah, it was, yeah. and I don't think I got the production right like I don't know about you with like how are you with mixing do you because I spent so long getting it mixed and I kept I sped certain sections up because it started yeah. to feel slow and and then when we sped it up, the vocal sort of was distorting if you crank it. And yeah, I tried yeah. my best to make the song work. I, just, I think I could never make it work. In did, time. did you mix it yourself? No, I got it mixed by okay. this dude, Spike Stent is the best. He mixes. Yeah. He's, Spike you, Stan? He's like He does like, he's incredible. If you, if you need From mixer. Australia? He's from America. He's from the UK actually, but I think he lives in Malibu, but he's like the best mixer. Right, okay. But, um, but I, I just couldn't get the song right. And it also represents just a hard time in my life. I love it, but it's just, I think, I didn't put on my album because it just, I just wanted to, it didn't fit in production-wise. Have you felt this same thing or? Um, I felt that, I, I, I'd say the songs that I've released since I've signed, I'm happy with all of them, yeah. honestly. Oh, um, what about the old ones? Though? So the old ones, I did one EP when I was like 19. Delete it, man. No, I, I did. Delete, yeah, yeah, delete <laughs> it, delete it. Yeah. I had no idea of concept, I had no idea yes. of, of marketing. Yep. I did, like I had an idea for the artwork myself, it was just a really sad picture of me with a guitar. So amateur, right? I it's had, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I had my full name at the time, called, uh, I'm a half Indian, half Scottish right, actually, right. so my name was Argyle Singh. Which right, is right. Very confusing. That is. Confusing. It's very confusing, and yeah, I had yeah, like yeah. a shit artwork, <laughs> and, but it was horrible. <laughs> so I deleted those. Um, one song was alright, so I kept that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I did end up doing a, a, a song for a, an advert here in Switzerland for the the co-op, which is like the co-op basically. Yeah. Um, which isn't a bad song. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but I was really taken by the the advert itself, and like, and at the, at the time the money was good yeah. and everything. And I thought it was like a one and done. And it ended up being like my most well-known song so far. Right, that's a weird, that's a weird It's thing. weird because people that's know me in Switzerland at least for that song, but yes. I don't play it live. That's interesting. Why don't you play it live though? Because you don't Because it's with... not my style really, it's, it's more for kids, you know? It's very j like jingle, choiry. Like, that's it's such not... a weird position to be in. It I, I is, yeah. To I never thought I'd be in that position. I mean, I'm not worried because that song's kind of hit its peak. Yeah. And now, 
that I'm signed and I'm, I'm writing, like I'm putting the work in, I'm yes, sure. Yes. I just need, I mean, you know the Spotify algorithm, I just need five songs with more hits and yes, then yes. it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, until then, I'm like the cope guy. You I know? know what you're saying. Um, uh, I can't relate to that because I've, I haven't experienced that exactly, but that is such an interesting thing because you, at one hand you'd be going, all right, so I have a song that's doing really well, which is what we all want. But on the other hand, you're going, but this doesn't represent me as an artist and lyrically doesn't really, that's an interesting one. It's like you take it I, one hand and it's like it's sort of it taking was, it. It was weird. I, could, I didn't expect it to be as big a deal. Right. I kind of, I, like, I was also a bit of a hard time in my life and I was just kind of doing stuff. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. And I, wasn't, and I didn't take music too seriously at the time right, either. Right, yeah. It was a couple of years ago. Yeah. And then, you know, and then it was like number one on like some, uh, what was it? Number one on Shazam here. It that's was like you. number two on iTunes for a while, like in Switzerland. Yeah, 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 that's great. Um, and it was great, don't get me wrong, and it opened a lot of doors. I'm thankful for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just need like five hits <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah. get that out. Dude, that's so. the thing. And then you, you think that, oh yeah, if I have one hit, if I just, I just have one more song that's big and I'll be happy, and then you, and then. And you need another one. And then another one. Yeah, and yeah. nothing ever, man. I, I, I can't pick it now. Like, I, I. In this day and age now, it feels like, it feels like hit songs are more, they go quicker now. Like, um, yeah. you know, it feels like there's less hit songs. Um, you're in a good position because you just signed a record deal yeah. and it's new. Cause I feel like if you're a new artist, you can have like a huge wave of support if it hits at the right time. You're right. You know what I mean? Like, but, it, but you need that, it's just, you need that thing to, it starts to align and the song to exactly. hit, the timing. Um, I hit a weird timing with, be Alright, because when Be Alright came out, there was no singer-songwriter out. I think, I mean, apart from like Ed Sheeran had finished his Divide album, and then Vance Joy had no songs out, I don't think. Um, it was basically, James Bay was, James he, Bay was he didn't have anything out there. He didn't have moment. it at the time, right? It was just George Ezra's Shotgun song, which is like a big pop yeah, happy, yeah. so it didn't compete. So there was no, there was nothing on the uh, on the radio that was like um, Be Alright. So there was no yeah. singer songwriter, so there was like that slot. I could that just slide in. That was just perfect, yeah. Every other time I've put out a song, it's, it's either on Ed Sheeran's album, yeah. you know what I mean? Or <laughs> Shawn Mendes has got a single coming <laughs> yeah. out, or Louis Capaldi's got a single coming out. And it's like, you know, timing, it's like... It's, it's crazy about the time, crazy, and I, yeah. we just pitched, uh, I'm releasing a single, uh, my next single, uh, 23rd, quick plug, hey. Yeah. <laughs> 23rd for this month. Yeah. And we pitched it for European priority and we got beat by someone because they had like more. European monthly. universal priority? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We pitched it like just a shot in the dark, you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm still a bit small. They, they tend to prioritize. That's so uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but you know, it's like you say, it's a bit tight. It's a lot of luck. It's a lot, it's of, a luck, lot of luck. But it's hard not to be defeated by it because I've had those moments as well where you, they, you're getting pitched and then, yeah. you know, and you go, and you go, but the song, you go, listen to this. This is the one. Like, this is the one. If you, if you, you want to say, if you guys just helped now, it would work. And yeah, right. then you go, nope. And and the door seems like yeah. it's open, and you're right there. You're right there. You're right it there. Happens all Bam. the time. Smashing it's, on your fingers. It's relentless, right. man. It's relentless. Uh, as um, the music industry, it's doggy it, dog. It really, it really is. It really is. It's, it's a big old fucking anxious roller coaster. It is. It is. Mad. And there's a lot of people in the middle who tell people what to do, but don't actually create. Oh this, yeah, yeah. This, yeah. This, oh yeah, yeah. I just try to shut myself off to it now, and I'm just. Uh, saying, you have to. You've got to shut yourself up. Make great music and just. I, I actually have summed it up in three things for me. I've, I go, I write music, I record it, I play live, mm -hmm. and then I just post about it. Like they're the only things that we can control. Yeah. Um, apart from having a plan and a vision, you know, I think sometimes if, you, if you're obsessed with needing something to be a hit, you just live in perpetual yeah, happiness. Yeah, exactly. No, no, you, you, you can never forget the art. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, like good. The cream will always rise to the top, right? Exactly. So like, yeah. you, you just you just need to keep plowing away. You need to keep I just, going. I just feel like sometimes like the cream, without huge budgets support. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That's yeah. the thing. Because sometimes what rises to the top is, you know, like a huge support. Uh, like a really? Huge, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean. Let's be honest. There's there's, there's a lot of mediocre songs. Oh my god! The but they're from it. but they're from huge. big artists yes. and the massive hits. You know, yes. I'm not hating. No, but it's so true. It's true. It's, it's something that I think that we can relate on. Is you go yeah. like you know, it's like sometimes you can. Uh, there's huge artists that the song isn't quite there, but it's a hit because it's, yeah. it's a release by this huge artist. And but it's also like, but they got there by being great, or you know, you'd like to think. But um, exactly. So to sum it up, um, what is the thing you're most looking forward to in the next? Like, no, how about this? Sum it up. Where do you, where do you see yourself in a year? Next year. Ooh, where do I see myself in a year? Playing outside of Switzerland, finally. So it's a, the X year will be my second year. I want to have 
at least one, like, mini hit, at least. What's you know, a mini hit? How many? Mini hit, like, you know, a couple million streams, like, been enough to tour other countries and, like, start to, 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 to create crowds in other countries. It could be something random like Denmark, like yeah, you said, yeah, you know, yeah. to pack out small venues. I want to sell out shows, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, um, you know, there's already random people coming, like, knowing the lyrics and everything, so. That's great. Yeah, just to be on to, to the next projects, whatever it might be. Obviously, plans can change. But yeah. just be more established as an artist, be happy, be only doing music continuously, yeah. and um, just plowing away. And packing be, out shows, like, it, no matter how, whatever the size, just in and yeah, territories around. absolutely. It's so possible. Denmark, Norway, right? the whole, dude, it's, it's so possible. You just need, like you say, luck. You need, you need just one good song and a yes. bit of push. Yes, yeah, one good song and a push, and then, you know, also hopefully you get picked up by the other territories, and then yeah, they get on board, and then it's that's, like... That's also the biggest battle, because, like, it's very random, the Scottish guys saying this. Yeah, that's so interesting. It's so very random. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Random. But, but you know what? The music speaks for itself, so that's all that matters, yeah, right? Yeah, so. exactly. Well, mate, what a, what a vibe. So nice to meet hey, you, man. thank you very much, Freaking man. Awesome. I appreciate yeah, it. it. Great Honestly, track, thank so. you. It was great. Good, man. Good all right, man. cool. Well, I'll see you next time I'm here, bro. Yeah, no worries, Sweet. bro.